Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about my setup, how I record my videos, what audio equipment I use, what video equipment I use. Um, because I don't really have time today to do a cover or a tutorial. So I'm going to get straight in. If you're not interested in my equipment and what I use to make my videos, skip over this. I'll be back tomorrow with another cover. So let me get straight in. First things first, many of you may know this already, but if you don't, the guitar that I use in my videos is my Taylor 618E from 2014, which has two pickups in it. It's got one under the bridge by Taylor, and it's got one in the sound hole by LR Bags. It's an M1 Active. Uh, and in the description to this video, I'm going to include the link to the video of me fitting that pickup in case you wondered how to fit the end pin jack socket in the guitar. Um, next, that guitar plugs into my pedal board. I'm going to leave another link to another video that I did on my pedal board so I don't have to go through every pedal that's in there. I've done that already. It's already on the channel. Uh, and the microphone that I use for my vocals is a cheap one. It's a T-Bone one, which is Thoman's own make. Thoman is the company in Germany where I buy all my audio equipment from. Um, and it's an SC400 microphone. Again, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video in case you're wondering um, what the microphone is. It cost me about 60 euros, I think, so it's a cheap one. Um, there's going to be a lot of links in this description, by the way, but I'll label them all so they'll all be clear what they're all for. Um, so that pedal board from my guitar and my microphone all plug into my Toneport UX8 by Line 6, which is my audio interface, which you can see on the shelf behind me there. Um, that long thing there is my audio interface. Um, and that splits the tracks into separate tracks within the digital audio workstation. I really hope that's what DAW stands for, but correct me if I'm wrong about that. So my um, audio interface, as I said, is plugged into my computer. For anybody that's wondering about that, that's custom made by myself, and it's got an Intel Core i7 processor. It's a 6700 one at 3.4 gigahertz which is cooled by a Cooler Master Hyper 412S CPU cooler. It has 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaws DDR4 RAM and an Asus GeForce GTX 660 graphics card, which has got nothing to do with recording audio, but I do use it for a bit of F1 2016 as and when. I don't play games very often, but sometimes, occasionally. That's what that's used for, and obviously that powers both my monitors. I've got two monitors behind, which just make it easier i can have the mixer in one channel and the tracks in the other channel the other um monitor sorry muddling my words up a little bit so all of that is sat on my asus z170 pro gaming motherboard in my cooler master silencio rc 550m case which is what you've just seen in that footage that i just showed you other than that uh, that's all powering Cakewalk Sonar X3, which is the recording software that I use. And the headphones that I use uh, in my videos are Sennheiser HD439 headphones, which again, I think they're about 60 euros. They're not massively expensive ones, but they do the job. With regards to video, I use my Canon G7X Mark II, which is what you're looking through right now. Um, that's generally for my secondary um, sort of angle. Uh, the primary angle at the moment, I'm using a Sony Handycam, which records in 4K. Can't remember off the top of my head what model number that is, um, but I'll tell you in the description for the video again. Um, that actually isn't my camera, so it will change at some point because uh, it's on loan to me from a friend. So I think that's virtually everything. Within uh, Cakewalk Sonar, by the way, I tend to add to the vocals, a little bit of EQ, which I tend to set sort of in that shape, roughly. Um, I drop the bass and the mids, uh, bass and the treble, sorry, I tend to raise the mids up a little bit. The guitar is EQ'd, the total opposite to that, so that direction, low mids, high bass and high treble. Um, that's a general sort of thing, by the way. The uh, pedal board that I use, there's an EQ pedal in there, but that's only um, affecting the LR bags pickup in the sound hole, so. It helps to be able to split those tracks um, separate, separately for each of my pickups because I can sculpt the sound individually for those. I don't have to add 
the same EQ to the mic as I had to the LR Bags pickup as I had to the bridge pickup in the Taylor guitar. Anyway, that was really, really fast, and I hope I've not missed anything out, but I did say that it was going to be a quick video. Um, so I hope I've answered your questions. Uh, if you wanted to know what equipment I use and stuff, there it all is. If you've got any more questions, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, at Tweed Nelson, and you can ask me on there, or you can ask me in the comments below this video, and I try to answer every comment. So I uh, hope this has helped. Uh, and that's all I'm going to go because I've got stuff to do today. So thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Till next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.